Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play Civ 5, this time as Grease. Um, <coughs> I've actually, after the last game, I wasn't planning on doing another Civ 5 until Gods and Kings came out, but because of the way the last one ended with the mod and things being weird, I decided to start up a new one, and this would be a quickie game. In fact, I'm going to try to see if I can play it all in one sitting. I'm not entirely sure that I will be able to pull that off. I'm also recording at kind of an odd time, so there may be a little bit more background noise than we're used to, but hopefully we're going to have a fun game. So as I said, I'm going to be playing as Greece, but this is going to be a one city challenge. I've checked that option in the advanced setup. I can only ever build a single city. I think I can only ever own a single city. So even if we take over something else, we will have to raise it. Um, it's a fun and interesting way to play. Everyone should give a try to a one city challenge once. It's obviously quite hard to win the game with only one city, but there are certain advantages. I mean, your one city is going to be gargantuan and awesome and happiness and all these different things are going to be calculated in entirely sort of different fashion because you only have one city. Now I have rigged the game a little bit to give us a little bit of a, a hand up. First of all, I turned on balanced strategic resources. So everyone in their starting city location is going to have a good mix of resources. That takes away the die roll, like, because I can't expand, so I could get screwed in resources. So we're going to settle here. It's got a lot of resources to start off with, plus I believe we're almost guaranteed to have things like horses and iron uh, within our starting radius. So that's one way we're sort of making things a little bit easier. The other thing is, I am playing on a small Pangea, which actually has quite a bit of room to expand on, but I've turned on the max number of city-states, which I think is 28. Now, actually, the game, usually when you do that, fails to place a couple just because of room. So as a result, uh, the Cape Civilization uh, was failed to be placed, so it was marked as conquered, and unfortunately, so was Brussels. So we have a map full of city-states, and we are playing as Greece. Of course, Greece gets a bonus to city-states, and or, uh, it, they decay a little less. So obviously, we're going to go with a city-state oriented strategy. In fact, I'm playing this as a sort of I am a city-state, which is very common in Greece. Like when we think of ancient Greece and we think of times of like Sparta and Athens and all those things, really there was no Greek nation. There are a lot of individual city-states. And one of the things that uh, Philip of Macedon, it, Macedonia was a city-state, and Alexander the Great, they were basically, they had, they were from this one city-state, but they spread something called like, they, I think the term is hegemony, the idea that the one culture started to spread and unite and and, 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 and create the sort of greater Greek identity and, and those sorts of things. So that's what we're going to try to do. So anyway, without further ado, let's settle in place. Let's found Athens um, and uh, choose production. So there's a couple of different ways I think we may want to start. I'm going to start by building a scout. I want to find everyone as quickly as possible, figure out, figure out where everyone is, especially all the city-states. Again, this is a Pangea. Um, and the reason I went with Pangea is because I didn't know if I'd be starting on the coast, and if I wasn't on the coast, I couldn't build ships, so I might not be able to see anyone. There may still be some city-states that will be out on a little tiny island, which will kind of suck, but hopefully not too many. So yeah, we're going to start with a scout. Choose resource. We are going to go, we're going to go with a little bit of a, uh, a um, world wonder oriented start. I'm going to rush for, um, for writing. We're going to go Great Library. And I'm also really going to want Stonehenge for culture, um, because we're going to have a couple of early wonders, a couple of early culture production uh, buildings, um, just to unlock some of the social policies. Our prime goal for victory is probably going to be diplomatic, uh, but a culture victory may be possible. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but because we only have one city, we're going to get our social policies extraordinarily quickly. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, yeah. So we've got, all right, I'm just going to have to note the resources because at some point we're going to want to improve them, obviously. And I'm going to send my worker off, or my warrior off this way, I think, and see what's over there. Interesting little land bridge in this direction. Very curious. Let me turn up the volume for the music. There we go. All right. Step up, step up. Ah, we're going to discover our first city-state over here, which is apparently in really crappy area. It's going to be interesting to see exactly how they fit everyone in, because this is a crowded world. Hello, Vienna. Nice to meet you. And actually, we are going to enter their borders, even though that's going to make them a little unhappy, because we do recover it extra fast as Greece. So again, our, 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 um, 
our relations with these uh, nations will decay something like 25% uh, slower. But also anything we do by ticking them off by ending a turn in their borders will will go away 25% faster. I believe that's what the numbers are. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Okay, so let's just swing you around this way. We're almost done our scout. I'm going to try to play this relatively fast. I'm usually quite ponderous when I play these games, but I'm trying to get a lot done in a single setting here because I had a schedule of games I was going to do, and then I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's fit in one more sieve. Where is that ruin? Oh, there it is. Hopefully we can get it. It's, we're going to be hard-pressed to get any ancient ruins here because it's going to be a really crowded map. Let's go here. And, you know, I guess we'll just hop up on the hill and see what we can hop, because we can't actually reach it this turn. I think I'm going to buy my first worker. Um, as I recall, last few times I've done this sort of... Um, what did you give me? Archery! Very nice, actually. That's really, really helpful. Wow. Another city-state over there. We're actually going to get a nice money kick from hopefully discovering a lot of these city-states as early as possible. So is the AI. Um, but we don't really care about them, do we? I guess we're going to come down here and then... Oh, God, this would have been a nice place for a city, too. Look at this. Oh, I want to be able to expand. Why did I do a one-city challenge? God. Okay, so we met Belgrade, and we did meet them first, which is nice to know. And we discovered the Grand Mesa. Right over there. Actually, Belgrade is going to be the people who get to take advantage of that, which is kind of cute and interesting. Athens is now size 2. Wonderful. And I need, what, 110 gold to purchase a worker? Oh, no, no, it's 310. I'm thinking of, I think the uh, the Vanilla Enhance mod actually reduced the cost of workers. I'm not 100% sure. So we're going to build a granary, which we will want. <clears throat> and... Delhi! Hello, Gandhi. I quite like the voice acting on Gandhi, actually. It's quite nice. Excellent. Well, we're definitely going to try to make friends with you. I'm going to try to avoid wars as much as possible. Um, especially since I can't expand. There's literally nothing for me to gain from going to war. <clears throat> other than knocking down someone. But the problem is, if I went and like wiped out India, for example, well, that just leaves more territory for someone else to expand into and grow twice as big. Ideally, I'm going to want everyone to stay as balanced as possible. So they can hopefully hold each other in check a little bit. Oh, that's a nice panning view with the camera. Okay. I actually don't know what Japan's personality is in this game. I'm going to assume they're fairly militaristic. Um, since that would be kind of appropriate with the sort of historical um, isolationist kind of policies. So we'll see. Hey, Quebec City, nice. We are not the first people to meet you. That does not surprise me. Oh, another ancient ruin. That's really nice. I wonder if we can get another tech. That is too much to hope for. Mm, I think, oh, it's only one movement to go through there, really. And he, how come, oh, we're the scout. That's why we can walk across rough terrain. I keep forgetting that, actually. Um, let's go in this direction. Here, here. I guess the mountains are going to block our view, but... Bam. What'd you give us? Ah, culture for free. We're actually going to get a social policy next turn. Very nice. We can start on the Temple of Artemis, which we don't care to do. <clears throat> um, I think I might start on an archer. Could start on a worker, I suppose. And we're going to want probably two workers. So I suppose I can build one and then buy the other one, but I don't think I'm going to finish building it because I'm going to... When riding finishes, ah, it's going to be close enough. You know, we'll let the worker finish. And give me social policy. Nice. So we're definitely going to go down tradition, which is ideal for small empires. Um, and that's what we want. It's not going to give us a free, uh, a free settler like Liberty, which would be useless for us. It gives us an increased uh, rate for building wonders, which is awesome. It's not going to apply to the Great Library. Possibly. It might kick in before it finishes building. Um, the free culture building is interesting. Now, I think the last time I tried this, it was kind of weird because I don't think it gave it to me for free if I didn't have the tech to build one at the time, 
it was very awkward. So I'm going to make sure to click this in only when I have a, a culture building that I can build. But I'm going to take this for now, three extra culture in my capital. It's actually going to be huge. We also want the culture just to keep expanding our borders like this. It's going to be incredibly important. We want to max out our, um, our borders. Uh, we do not want to engage those guys, actually. I'm going to go this way. It might attack me, but... No, let's go here. Ooh. Oh, there's Kyoto. Excellent. Kyoto is the capital of Japan. Up until the, uh, I think the Meiji Re uh, Reformation, it's sometime after that, that the capital moves to Edo, which is eventually renamed to Tokyo, if I recall correctly, which I may not be. I could be completely missing that. But uh, you guys should all rush to Wikipedia to be able to correct me, and then you'll learn something about Japan at the same time. See? My mistakes educate you. I, this is a public service that I do just for you, my viewers, because I love you all so very much. Oh my god, another one? How are these people not exploring all this? Aw, oh, map is crap. Did expose a wonder. But like, the map is literally, like, in some games, it can help because at least you can find good places to expand. And that doesn't apply to us at all, at all, at all. Um, I'm not even worried about exposing this stuff because it's going to kind of get auto-exposed by my culture. I might want to... Persia! Nothing bad ever happened between Persia and Greece, so I'm not worried about meeting them. Har, 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 har. Belgrade is under attack by barbarians. That would actually be very helpful if we did some of these missions, actually. So, apparently, we are going to get our wonder building. Oh, we, right, we did get that culture boost. That's what's making the big difference. We got the the um, the goody hut, the tribal vi ruins, that gave us the culture boost. So we're going to be able to get our wonder building faster. Plus a slight happiness boost, but that doesn't really matter right now. Okay, so, yeah, we are going to want to do the barbarian hunting at some point. <clears throat> Not with the scout, though. I think we'll go here. And wrap around back this way. I don't think we officially met whoever's over here. It's probably time to bring the, uh, the our workers back, though. So you guys just want... Just kill barbarians. It's not a barbarian camp, huh? Well, we're going to swing by. Um, we'll do this just to expose a little bit more land. But yeah, we'll bring you home, and we'll see if we can hunt barbarians. Hello, Catherine. I have to say, I do love this outfit. I think it's beautifully rendered, like the fur is nice and fuzzy. It looks like there's a lot of texture here, like right here in the sewing and the boning. Um, the boning, and, boning in the corset, they actually use whale bones uh, to do that sort of stuff. I think it's actually like beautifully modeled and textured. It blows me away. Um, the face is a little bit derpy. <laughs> but the dress, they did a good job. Mm -hmm. I guess it helps when you've got a scene that's literally just like a single model. You can afford to throw a few extra polygons and bump mapping and whatnot. This is also using the DirectX 10 slash 11 client, I guess. Yeah, so we're just going to send these guys back and see if we can't do some barbarian hunting. At some point, barbarians are also going to start spawning around our capital, and we're not going to want them to be harassing us. Writing's done in two turns. Worker's still done in six turns. I wonder if I should have done a production focus here. I don't think it would make it much of a difference. It actually increases the amount of time for the worker. Ha ha ha. No, just do default focus then. And growth is pretty important early on as well. So, there we go. Met Almady. 15 extra gold. Very nice. And you know what? We're going to cut through you very briefly here. And you, I guess you're just going up on the hill. We're gonna come around this side of Belgrade. Belgrade, Belgrade? I don't know. So I'm gonna go with Belgrade because grade is an English word and it's pronounced that way, but I'm not 100% sure if it's the same. Um, I kinda wanna go on, I guess I'll go on the hill for visibility and then come down. Even though it's sort of wastes a turn of exploring whoever the purple city state is, but. Boom. There's the barbarian in Kamet. Okay. <clears throat> Now, we should get a bonus of fighting them. They're on flat land, although they're fortified. Good, that's done. Now, I definitely want... Um, I'm going to want Stonehenge for the culture boost. It's going to be extremely valuable for us. We want to make sure that we can uh, 
um, pick up all the the patronage things fairly quickly. Now we're gonna have to enter the medieval age for that, but we should be able to do that soon enough, <clears throat> especially with a free tech. Hello, Sidon. And we're the first people to meet you. Ah, you are on an island, so we're actually quite lucky that we got to meet you. So, if we attack here, it's going to be a minor defeat, really? Hmm. Because they're fortified. Despite my bonus against barbarians. I really need, I need a promotion, really, to be able to smash these guys. Now, if I come here... If they attack me, they lose their fortification bonus. I will get the flatland penalty, but it's kind of going to be a wash. <clears throat> I will accept these. Every time I, I do an open borders, people are always like, well, why are you doing that? People are going to know how strong your military are, and they're going to attack you. Well, I don't think it works that way. Every indication that, um, and this is the same in previous versions of Civ, the AI just, like, uses your worker count from your demographics like if we check that um, up here demographics right it knows your your soldier count basically this way um, hey, we're not the worst hooray and it uses that automatically to know based on graphs and things like that how strong you are oh they spawn an extra set that's why they were able to attack me um, so open borders should not encourage them to attack us. If anything, it helps our diplomatic status. I guess I could defeat these. I'll lose the warrior. But if these, if Belgrade just wanted the camp destroyed, and I'm not sure they do, they might just want three barbarians killed. Or I could, actually I can't escape. Well, I can escape far enough that these guys can't kill me. How important is it to save this warrior? Probably pretty important. Let me do this. They attack me, they'll probably die. And I might not be able to take out the camp, but we'll see. I'm hoping these guys just move away. They did not. And these guys have now fortified. Yeah. I'm going to go up on the hill, and then I'm going to fortify there and heal up. We're definitely going to need some military units. Two turns away from the worker, and then we're going to go into full-on... Great library production. We're going to be a little behind in a winter production. In fact, actually, I shouldn't be doing calendar yet. We don't have to rush to that. Um, that's a little silly. Well, calendar, I think, is needed for cotton, yeah. Um, mining might actually be handier to get a little sooner. Let me switch to that, and then calendar. Yeah, we don't need to rush to the um, Stonehenge. kind of like to expose these tiles by buying them just to get some vision over there to know if I have to compete for some land maybe with Quebec City but I need to save money for that second worker hmm oh I'm just watching someone else fight okay I was worried my uh, my scout was being attacked all right great library and now if we go production focus 27 turns down to 20 turns yeah we're definitely gonna want to rush that bad boy out even though it hurts our growth now there was a barbarian over here. Yeah, there he is. Now if I end my turn in a forest, I might be okay. Scouts are not particularly strong. But I think we'd be okay, actually. If these guys want to spend themselves on our scout, we might even get a promotion out of it. And you don't have much to do, so <clears throat> I guess you're going to spend your turn crossing the river, and then we'll get you to improve the wheat and help the growth of Athens. Yeah, it's still working the wheat as is, which is good. I guess the fact that these are on planes, it still generates a hammer, which is awfully nice. So it's not going to help our production as well as building a mine would. Oh, you're fighting someone else. Or someone else is fighting you, actually. It's good for me. People with the most gold. I'm fairly high, not as high as some others. Our first barbarian. Of course he's going to show up just as we bring a worker out. Can I purchase a military unit? I can actually build an archer, or purchase an archer, which I will do. I know I was talking about saving it for a worker. <clears throat> But, all right, you know what? You swing all the way over this way. We'll get you to build a mine first. There's Moscow. Ah, oh, see, he lost a worker. Moscow lost a worker. Or she, I should say, since it's Catherine the Great. I'm very happy that didn't happen to me. Hooray. Because I think the barbarians 
won't completely enter your borders now. I'm not sure. This may be a Civ 4 mentality that's kicking in. In Civ 4, there's, um, there's, a, um, there's a period of time between when barbarians start to happen before they'll actually enter your borders. But, no, clearly they're doing it. So it doesn't, doesn't apply here. Your workers are not safe. Although, speaking of my worker... Wow, I killed him! Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I guess three turns to mining. I guess we're just gonna pop back over here. Wasted a little bit of time. Plus, we don't have our second worker, which is a shame. But, we're gonna have more improve, uh, more defense, which isn't bad. Um, I don't think the oligarchy is important. I don't think the, the, the garrison bonus is important right now. Um, but, the, oh, right, 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 the free culture building thing. So right now, we don't actually have access to a second culture building. How do we get an... Because I think it was... Now, it may have been something with the mod I was playing with or, or something, but it was... Yeah, it, it didn't trigger. That being said, we're ages away from getting another culture building. Although we don't have to go down this branch right now. It's going to be in philosophy. Yeah, the temple. That we're going to get another one at that point. Because we could just go to a second place. Although, I really... I don't care for liberty here. Honor would be okay, but not really that big either. Uh, this is kind of cool though. We get some extra happiness and culture. Not that I think happiness is going to be a problem. Even culture is not going to be a big issue. Um, I feel like this is glitched. Although the faster we get this, the faster we can get the land at elite, which is really strong. Monarchy is not bad either. I mean, we could just pick up philosophy after this is all done. So it's going to be nine turns. And then, so 27 turns. I don't know how quickly we're going to be getting the next policy. And I can't save the policies right now. I've got that. I didn't enable that. I considered it. I'm not sure if it'll work. I guess, you know what? Maybe I should just take it to find out. Because this really won't be handy for us right now. At some point, I mean, we'll want it just to complete tradition. All right. It might be a waste of a pick, but we'll, we'll find out. We'll see. Once we pick up philosophy, we're going to find out if we got that temple for free or not. So yeah, go ahead and start that farm. You go ahead and just garrison in the city for now. Um, I don't think we're going to go much further south. Although, I suppose there's always a chance that we're going to find more city-states. And that's the thing, we want to find more city-states. Which, I should be exploring more. I should build a second scout or something. And actually, I should see if anyone wants a, a friendship. There's probably nothing down here, but I should check. Guarded. Well, you suck. Gandhi. Friendship? No. Open borders? Excellent. Friendship? Not yet. But open borders? And I mean, oh. Oh, I already have it with these guys. I thought I had it with Catherine, but I guess not. No way to make it work. Why don't you like me? Actually, I guess I could find out from here, can I? Yeah. Nothing yet. Alright, maybe it'll just improve over time. Mining. Ooh, I don't want to fight those guys. Oh, cool. Do they not heal? Do barbarians not heal? That is stupendously good. There we go. Yes, declaration of friendship. Thank you, Gandhi. My closest neighbor wants friendship. That is exactly what I want. I want peace, after all. Now, it doesn't mean I can't war. Just get a little bit of a pain in the ass. So here... I should be able to take out this camp, and hopefully, even if these guys fight back, I don't think they're going to be able to one-shot. So, let's give this a try. And if we can get Belgrade to be an ally, that'll be amazing. I mean, a militaristic city-state? If we can avoid building military units and instead have these guys just give me stuff? Um, so, we kill the Barbarian, and we got some influence. Okay, so, they just want the Barbarian killing. So, 
We'll see if we can keep that up. Yes, thank you for damaging them, and now I'm going to be able to hopefully mop these guys up, actually. Excellent. They're in desert, they didn't even attack me. Yes, decisive victory, finish these guys off. And hopefully that's enough for promotion, actually. I'm not entirely sure. There we go, more influence. Um, let's go here just to double check. No, all right. Wonderful. In fact, I could even move the archer out to hunt some more, but... I don't know. Next turn. Yeah, we need some more of those missions. Unit promotion. Wonderful. Um, I would like to save it. I usually go drill for lots of reasons. I mean, it's people in the defensive terrain that are tough. People on flatland aren't a challenge in the first place. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to heal up and hope some more barbarians pop out. And, um, this is open water. I can't actually, hmm, shoot. Guess I'll do this. Hopefully wait those guys out. So how are we doing over here? 11 turns now. Good stuff. Ah. All right, well, I guess we don't have much choice. We'll have to go here, possibly soak an attack, and then run away. That's good. I'd actually like to do this. It sucks that I'm going to lose so many turns, but... I don't know. I guess growth is pretty good, too. It's slightly more time efficient, even though it's not production efficient. But bigger populations are, are good. I feel like I might want to buy one tile closer to uh, Quebec City. Okay. Not quite dead. Teach us to number our days so that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Stoneworks is really good. Do I have like stone type resources? I don't, huh? Make it, oh no, it's a hundred for there, which I don't want to do. I guess I'm just gonna have to suck it up. I should get a decent amount of culture in these cities. Now, is philosophy actually what I want next, actually? Let's let's take a moment here and consider. Animal husbandry is probably better. It's certainly a lot cheaper. I don't... Uh, I may want trading posts for money. Actually, I am going to need a lot of money, aren't I? And they're pretty fast. So there's no reason to rush to philosophy anymore. We'll probably queue it up after this stuff. Although exposing iron, also pretty good. God. Yeah, trading posts are good. We want money because we're going to need to buy off a whole lot of city-states. Um, Stonehenge, right? And, oh, there's another wonder I want really bad. I just remembered. The Hanging Gardens, plus 10 food in the city that you're in. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go down this route. That Because this is like, this is the ultimate wonder for a... Um, a one city challenge. Oh, I don't need, you know what? I can pop philosophy.